hello everyone welcome back to tech genie so in this video i will be sharing seven simple settings to speed up your any kind of internet on windows 10 and windows 11 so let's quickly get started now before starting i would recommend you that try to find out the application or program that is consuming the maximum bandwidth so for that right click on the windows icon click on task manager from the left hand menu option click on performance then click on the three dot at the right and top then click on resource monitor the resource monitor will be up now here from the top menu option click on network now this will list you all kind of application running so you need to find out here the application program that is consuming the maximum bandwidth so you can look the graph here and whichever is occupying the maximum bandwidth you just need to right click on it and click on end process okay so what will happen any application or program that you're not using that was consuming the high bandwidth they will stop using that bandwidth and this will surely improve the internet speed okay so once you're done you can close it now next we have to make some changes from the registry and this method is only applicable for the people who have the good internet connection speed but still they are not enjoying the maximum performance so for that you need to click on your windows search type R E G E D I T. Click registry editor. Click on yes. The registry editor will be up. Now, here from the left hand menu option, you have to click on H key local machine. Click on the arrow icon to expand it. Then look for system. Expand it. Then look for current control set. Expand this option. Then look for services. Expand it. And in the services here, you need to scroll down. And you will find LAN MAN server. Again, expand it. And here you have to look for parameters. Then right click on parameters. Hold up to new. Choose dot 32 bit value. And rename it as IRP in the capital. Then stack size. So in the stack and size, S will be in capital without any kind of space. I will also leave this name in the description so you can copy and paste okay so once you have renamed make a double click on it in the base select to decimal and make the value data to 32 then click on ok once you are done you have to go back to services so scroll up until you find the services here it is now in the services this time you have to look for tcp ip and once you get it expand it and now in the tcp ip you have to look for parameters again make a right click on parameters hold up to new then choose dot 32 bit value and rename it as default ttl okay so you have to type exactly as i just type here once done make a double click on it in the base select to decimal and change the value data to 64 click on ok again make a right click on parameters hover up to new choose dot 32 bit value name this as tcp 13230pts all right so you need to type exactly and even i will leave this name in the description you can copy and paste so once you are done make a double click on it again and change the value data to 1 and keep the base selected to hexadecimal click on ok and now you can close it and next we also need to disable the metered connection so right click on the windows icon click on settings in the settings from the left hand menu option click on network and internet then click on the connection whichever you are using so let's say i'm using ethernet i will be clicking on ethernet but if you're using the wi-fi you have to click on wi-fi now once you click on it here you will find the metered connection option so if this option has been enabled then you will have to disable it once done close it next click on your windows search type gp edit and from the suggestion click on edit group policy the group policy editor will be up now in case if you get any kind of error message while opening the group policy it means you are using windows 10 or 11 home edition so for that i have already created a video you can check that and enable this option and here in group policy editor under computer configuration you have to click on administrative template 
and then on the right hand side you will find the network option so double click on network and here you will find QoS packet scheduler once you get it double click on it and then you will find limit reservable bandwidth double click on it another box will be up it will be set to not configured you have to choose it to enabled and in the bandwidth limit make it to 90 percent then click on apply and then click on ok and now we are finally remaining with the final step so for that click on your windows search type ncpa.cpl hit the enter key now make a right click on the connection through which you are being connected for which you want to increase the internet speed right click on it choose properties now here you have to look for internet protocol version 4 just make a double click on it and below select the option use the following dns server address in the preferred you have to type 1.1.1 and in the alternate you have to type 100n1 this is the cloudflare dns address so you will have to use it because it will give you the best internet speed once done click on ok click on ok and now you're all done simply restart your modem router and your computer and after that surely you will find some changes and your internet speed will be boosted up so that's all guys for today hopefully you will enjoy this video and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe for any kind of question let me know in the comment section and i see you in the next video Bye bye